good evening and welcome to the Whiskey Lover Society with me, Gert Ratief, sitting outside, enjoying a little bit of sun. There's a little bit of wind going on, but I think this is the first time I had the opportunity this year to, well, to get a little bit of vitamin D um, and, yeah, and just enjoying myself. It is nice afternoon here in Belgium, and I thought to myself, I've been looking at... Um, well, high ABV whiskies over the last couple of videos. And one of them was from a uh, independent bottler. And um, the bottle came from, or the whiskey came from Singleton or the Dovetown Distillery, the Singleton. And of course, and I thought to myself, this is bloody good. And I, well, I've passed this whiskey so many times in the duty free shops and never gave it a second glance. And um, yeah, I thought to myself, maybe it's a good idea to give it a, a nosing and tasting. I went for the big boy, 18 years old. Well, unfortunately bottled at only 40% ABV. Not so sure if there's natural color of this uh, definitely chill filtration. Um, but yeah, it is what it is. It is a cheap bottle looking about 79, 80, 85 euros for the bottle here in Europe. And um, yeah, for an 18 year old, it seems like a good bargain. So not going to be a long video. Color wise, like I said, we no idea. Um, but there's always a presumption that there is some color added. And um, chill filtration definitely at 40% ABV. So yeah, on the nose, on the nose for me, and I also asked my son uh, last night if he what he thinks. Um, he's not a whiskey drinker, and he loved it. He loved the nose. He loved the taste. This is his, his kind of um, drink. Now, it tells me one thing. It's definitely made for people that are not really into whiskey. People that are looking for something that's really calm, something that's relaxed, something that's not going to burn them, something that's not going to, well, challenge them um, in any way, shape or form. So for me, the first thing that I got, and um, yeah, it's not a good one. <laughs> the first thing that I got, it was like um, cough medication uh, or orange flavored cough medication and it was not a good sign for me my son um, he told me he gets a lot of apples red apples now i can get the red apples it's a little bit like a over ripe red apple so a little bit funky note for me that comes out but the biggest note that i do get from this one is that artificial orange juice, um, artificial, um, almost like a liqueur coming through. If you would have given me this one as a blind and asked me what it was, for me, orange liqueur, it also looks the part as an orange liqueur, but there's loads and loads of oranges and then that little bit of an apple note. I also do get a little bit of cinnamon mixed with that red apple note. Alcohol wise 40% ABV, <laughs> I don't get any of it. You can shake it all the want, you can stir it up, you can wake it up. There's absolutely zero. But with a little bit of time that orange note disappears a little bit and leaves me more of that apple notes. Definitely for me smells like a, a liqueur and not like a whiskey. Hopefully it gets better on the taste. So cheers. And there it is. It is super sweet. It's sugary sweet. It's got that orange note, that orange liqueur note, a little oily orange liqueur note, and uh, maybe a hint of that uh, overripe apples coming through. I must admit, I, I can understand that a lot of people will find it nice. Um, I am 
a guy that likes a sweet whiskey when it comes to Pedro Emenes or Oloroso Sherry cast finish. I do like them. I do like sweet whiskies, but for me this is completely like a liqueur whiskey. Now I'm sure there's a lot of people that find it attractive. I'm sure there's a lot of people that find it a really nice whiskey, a 18 year old whiskey at a good price. But for me, oh my word, it is way too sweet. That orange note and that artificial orange note gets to me. It tastes like medicine for me. It tastes like cough medicine for me. It's also got that oily viscous that just covers the mouth with that artificial note. So let me just make sure. Yeah, I, I think this is probably the second whiskey that I find that it's just absolutely not for me. I like a sweet whiskey, but this one I can feel the sugar levels rise, rise up in the body. <laughs> it, is, it is way too sweet. Now, 18 years old, I would have expected a little bit of a, well, at least a tannin or two, just to tone down that sweetness, I can tell you, is zero tannins. There is zero oak. It is just super sweet, orangey. Um, oh, my, my mouth is just cringing with all the sweetness that comes out. So yeah, strange one for me. I was really hoping for more. Um, considering my previous experience by an independent bottler, I loved it. But this one for me, oh my word, this is, <laughs> this is definitely not something that I would recommend. Um, but let me know in the comment, what do you think? Have you tried this one? Is it something that you would recommend? Um, did you also find it way too sweet? And that orange note for me was just absolutely, whoa, it reminds me too much of that cough syrup that um, uh, no, it is just something that I did not enjoy. So definitely would not recommend it. Um, definitely, um, while it, I will not even rate this one on the, any scale, was definitely not something that I enjoyed. So thank you very much for watching on this bad note. <laughs> and um, please remember to like, share and subscribe. And I see you next time. Cheers.